Hello and welcome to the Nerd and Geek Show. I'm the nerd. I'm the geek. And what we do here is unboxings, gameplays, car reviews, you name it. Just random crap every Friday as well. I am the geek because I like video games, reading, fantasy, and other random stuff. And I'm the nerd because I like tech, science, and mechanics. Alright. So in this today, video, we are going to be unboxing... What is it? An imported Japanese self-playing mini piano. We just got this bad boy today. All right, we cleared off the table, and we're ready to dig into this. Nerd, would you do the honors? Of course. So, like we said, this is a Japanese imported miniature piano, so... <laughs> and it plays itself. It plays itself, so when you plug it in, it has, according to the box, Actually, I can't even read it. It's in Japanese. Well, that's lovely. Has anyway, a lot of, it has, has a, lot a lot of songs. songs on it. That's what we're trying to get to. So, there's two tapes on the front. Just rip into that. Don't cut towards yourself. It's not good. Okay, so now this little piece comes out. Oh, it's ripped. That's nice. Oh, boy. Oh. Okay, so first sights of packaging are, what do you think? It's fresh. It is fresh, I mean. Oh, did you pull that off? Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, it comes with a little bench, apparently. Well. This isn't at all. Clear that off, too. Oh. Oh, as you can see, wow! It gives you the little inside scoop of the piano here. It's uh, wow, that's very detailed. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's got full-on strings in here. Um, and a little music stand here. We'll show you once we get it all set up. So, I'll put that I'll off to this. the side over there. I'll put it down. So, in this box, we have the lid. Take this plastic off. There we go. We have a very glossy lid, very realistic. Very nice. And then just your basic stuff. Uh, okay, oh, so. You see how that goes? I guess you snap it. Oh, out. it goes in here. Here, let's hold it this way. Okay. So we'll put the lid on here. Let's put it towards the middle. And so, these hinges go into here. What it looks like here. Do you want to pull that stuff out? Yeah. So these go into like here. Ah, then it like snaps down. Make sure the glue is right. Here. Okay, so now have the actual piano here, and now we can actually open the lid. Wow, that's very realistic. Nice, it's almost like the lid you have. Yeah. Okay, so now, what? Okay, so now we actually have... We got the legs. We have legs and the pedals. Wait. That actually go down. Uh, you can actually see that they go down. And That's cool. Three yeah. legs and the power cord cable, just your standard. I don't know what that cable's called, but. So now, I'm guessing we flip it over. Oh, so under here we have on off power switch. We have an aux jack if you wanted to plug the speaker into a different speaker and where you plug it in. So there already is a speaker. Ah. What you got there? I think I'm reeling it really well. Okay. So Just getting it ready. Yeah, okay. As you can see we have actually you can't really see it. So 
There is already a little speaker on it. I don't know how good it sounds from it just being like a Japanese speaker, I would think. But let's put the legs on. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry about this. Oh. Um, okay, oh. There we go. So it just goes on like this. On. They are flathead screws. So let's put these on. And everything's on pretty sturdy. So now, flip it over. Where's the cord go? It goes right here. Oh, I see. See? Oh, that's pretty tight. Here, move the box because it's going to get caught on the box. There you go. <laughs> oh, wait, it's a little. It's plugged in. All right. And like that. Um, I'll move this like that. Just put it like that. Yeah. There we go. And I mean the piano itself. According. Oh. Looks like and the, the keys, keys don't play any sound by themselves. Yeah, it's not actually like. You gotta move this. It's not actually like a real piano where the. It's like hammered and stuff. It is electric, but They're it looks realistic. fairly They're realistic. realistic. Um, On-off switch. There we go. And the keys actually move too. So. Very good sound. You do move this back to reveal your buttons that control it. There's a little screen right here to show you what song you're but on. But that is in Japanese too. Everything Both on this. You can read Japanese. Yeah. Kind of. Tell us in the there. comments if you can read this. <laughs> but you can't really see it, so that doesn't really make sense. Anyways, so we'll just push enter because I can't read Japanese. Oh. Okay, so that now it says SD. So it comes pre packaged with a little SD card. Which plugs in right Which here. plugs in, yeah, it plugs into the side of the casing, which I think has all the songs on it. So we'll put this back. So could you use other songs then, Nerd? Um, it kind of depends. I don't know if it's like already built in, computerized and stuff, so. Hmm. Um, we'll just click on SD. Okay, now we have a list of songs, so I'll just scroll down. Yeah, read any of them. Or I don't want to play. And there is a volume up. And it starts off. I mean, you can keep it playing through the night to put you to sleep. Yeah, and this just comes back over, so it just looks like a real mini piano. Playing itself into the kind night. Kind of a cool party trick, if you ask me. actually bring the camera over here so you can actually see. It doesn't look like any of the strings as they would on a that. regular grand piano. But still, it's not bad. So, you can see here that the keys actually correspond to the notes that they're playing and the actual inside looks very realistic. actually a lot more than I was expecting from a small piano. The speaker's not too bad. I wouldn't mind keeping this on at night to put me to sleep. And it looks very, very realistic. This does model according to the website, which is in English for some reason. It does model a seven foot Yamaha grand piano. So it does resemble an actual piano, so. Very nice. Very, very Although, nice. Although, the grand piano itself isn't in Japanese, but. Kind of a mix between English and Japanese language. I'm sure it would be different if we were in Japan, but we're here in America. Yeah. 
well, so all in all, the very self-playing grand piano is something that you should definitely get. Although you can't tell what songs you're playing, you can put it on shuffle. Unless you read, plays all the songs. Unless you know Japanese and can read Japanese. Yeah. So I would recommend getting this, even though it's very expensive, maybe for a birthday present or Christmas gift. Like you said, it is very expensive. This can't talk to turn this off. So it is very expensive. It does cost one thousand um, dollars. So if you got a budget, if you right. want to splurge on a birthday gift or just get something for your home, I mean, I mean, if you like piano music for the for the most part, this is a great. It's a good thing to have. Yeah, it's great. It sounds good. Surprisingly, for that little tiny dinky speaker, yeah. it's not bad. It's not bad, and it just you just gotta lift this up, kind of. Uh, I see. And really there cool party trick if you have company over, if you're at like a dinner, you just kind of think sit that they there. prank some people. Yeah, and just say like, <laughs> have an invisible pianist in my room, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. Hope Thank you guys you enjoyed me. this video. It is our first video, so let us know what you think in the comments. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Look forward to seeing you guys next video.